Next question is from DVXZXX. Mm. Hey, sounds like a porn yeah. name. Yeah, weird. <laughs> <laughs> what are your guys' thoughts on refeeds when dieting? I heard you talk about a study when suddenly eating more calories after or during a deficit can lead to more fat cells, but there's also research to show that refeeds help prevent metabolic adaptation, such as a slower metabolism. That was, okay, there's there's a big difference there. Yeah, they're confusing yeah, two difference. things. Yeah, you're, you're confusing two things here. Uh, when you do a refeed, you've been in a caloric deficit for some time, whether that be three days or weeks. Uh, so the refeed is 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 barely even going to put you over a surplus. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean it's all going to be stored as, as body fat either, especially if you're training with that. Hopefully a lot of that gets partitioned over to building muscle and you do get the benefits of it kicking back the metabolism. 100% I'm for refeeds. Uh, literally, um, hope uh, just mentioned the two clients, friends that I'm helping. One of them I'm actually helping more with diet stuff. And uh, she's been in a, in a calorie type of a deficit, even though I cycle her. So she's been in a calorie deficit for about six weeks, but not a consistent one. Every fourth day, she gets a refeed. So every fourth day, I put her a little bit above a maintenance. But overall, in six weeks, she's been in a pretty much a deficit. And I've noticed progress in the last week and a half, two weeks to stall on her. And so this whole week, I have her at a, a little bit of above even maintenance. So she's going to be. So those are all types of refeeds. So absolutely, if you stay in a in a caloric deficit for too long, the body just adapts to that. It adapts, and this becomes your new caloric maintenance. And by doing a refeed or giving yourself a caloric surplus, it then spikes that metabolism back up and tells your body to get yeah. used to having more food. Yeah, they're confusing binging. Uh, right. and, uh, and, you know, a refeed, right. two completely different things. Okay. So let's address the, the more fat cells comment. So there's studies that show that when people eat really, really low calories for a while, and then they go off the rails mm -hmm. and eat like crazy, which competitors you, are yeah, notorious for this. competitors typically where you see right. This. What the body will do is it actually, not only does it make your fat cells get bigger because you're eating more calories, but it actually adds fat cells to your body because it's trying to figure out a way to capture all this new energy. Uh, calories that are coming into the body. Now, they're totally different than a refeed. Now, the other studies show that with a, a, a increase in calories, not a binge, but an increase in calories, periodically throughout the uh, a diet, people burn more body fat and preserve more muscle. Uh, I've been recommending that for forever, for a very, very long time. Rather than having you at a deficit all the time, we have you at a deficit sometimes, and then we have you at with short periods where you eat more calories or maybe even a little bit of a surplus completely different strategy. And what that does, keeps the metabolism up, prevents muscle loss, and uh, we don't see the, the the huge metabolic adaptation in a downward uh, fashion that we tend to see when people are just in low calories all the time. But yeah, binging, very different. And I've seen this many times, especially with competitors, where they go so strict with their diet and so starving themselves, and they walk on stage at 3% body fat and then go through the process of gaining 30 pounds in a month well, this or is, less. This is just like you know, we just picked on CrossFit for bastardizing exercise. This is an example where bodybuilding is bastardized refeeding. Mm. Refeeding is a very smart strategy for people that we all, we use with clients and have for a very long time, but the bodybuilding community has bastardized it by turning it, it by excusing binging. Yeah, like mm. I have a cheat day and then it's like uh, yeah, you know, you go, 7, you calories go bananas. Insane, yeah. Right, or, or you're somebody who hits stage and you're at 3% body fat, so you technically can get away with binging for fucking five days and not get fat. I mean, you're going to put on body fat and you're going to for sure and do exactly what Sal's saying, adding fat cells, but you're going to take someone from 3% to 7% who's still leaner than 95% of the population, so they get away with it. So same thing with the the you know the analogy that Justin was giving with the CrossFitters bastardizing the deadlifts. That's what we've done with something that's a, a very smart, good strategy with refeed or like we call like mini mini cuts and mini bulks, I think is is very, very smart. But then it's been turned into this thing that excuses people to go from a super low calorie deficit to all of a sudden binge eating afterwards. Mm -hmm. And that's not a real true refeed. A real true refeed is exactly what I was explaining with the the girl that I'm helping right now. It's like you know, I'm taking her calories from, you know, low for her is 1,600 calories. Her maintenance is probably around 1,800. Uh, a, a, a refeed or a bulk is 21, 2,200. I mean, that's a that's a refeed yeah. right there. I don't need to take her to 3,500 calories for three, four, or even a week. You know, that's ridiculous. Right. That's, that's now borderline binging. Yeah, what's interesting too is, uh, you know, uh, 
when you look at competitors who compete like bodybuilding physique and then year after year after year, you find them having more and more challenge coming in as sharp uh, as they did before or as lean as they did before. I think this is why. I, I hunter, think I hundred percent think this yeah. is why. I think it's because after their shows, they binge so hard that they actually add fat cells to their body, and so over time, after three, four, five years of competing, mm-hmm. it's harder and harder and harder for them to come in as shredded as they did before. It's a, it's a, it's a it's a wonderful way of uh, of making getting lean way more difficult is to do this, you know, super low calorie binge kind of cycle and model. That is a, a perfect example, Sal. If you are, this is, it's great, this is a great point. I've talked about something like this in a long time. I, th- I saw this firsthand. And if you are a competitor and every show you do, it, you have to do significantly more either cardio-wise or calorie reduction, you are probably falling in this category. That's why it's so difficult. If you did a good job of between shows, Adding more lean lean mass, adding more muscle. It should be easier. It should be easier. Mm-hmm. It should be better. You should be able to get away with more calories and yet still lean down because you've built more muscle on the body. So if you're a competitor and you've noticed you've done three, four, or five shows, and every show it's getting harder and harder to lean down and you're having to do longer bouts of cardio or restrict even lower calories – there's something you're wrong with your nutrition programming that you need to address, yeah. and this is normally what it is. Yeah, you know what's interesting about this is that the the there's only a few there's a few times that we know that the body adds fat cells. One of them's like puberty, third trimester of pregnancy is another one, and this one this one this is why this made such big news is because holy cow you can do this to yourself if you restrict super hard and then go in the opposite direction. It's a survival you're, mechanism. It is, but yeah, the third trimester of pregnancy is another one. You'll see, you know, women who are pregnant and then they really, really go off with nutrition while they're pregnant, eat lots and lots, and then they find that it's so hard for them to get back in shape. It may be because they they added, uh, they actually added uh, fat cells. 